All right, welcome back. So let's first off talk about your hypnotic voice. So what's this about? Well, let me give you a bit of a background on how the hypnotic voice was discovered and basically how it's used in the context of hypnosis. It is very well documented that a hypnotherapist will have two types of voices. They'll have their regular talking voice, but they also have their hypnotic voice, which they tend to use more when they're treating clients and they're putting a client into trance. And it's very, very simple and extremely effective. But as a matter of fact, most hypnotherapists overlook the value of using their voice to put someone into trance. And especially inside of a conversation or a covert hypnotic context, it is equally important with everything else that you do. So I want to teach you some little tools to take away to how to use your voice and only your voice to start to put someone into a hypnotic trance that's simple, effective, and you'll notice the results very, very quickly. So the voice I'm using right now would be my everyday interactive voice. I use this voice when I'm on the telephone, or I use this voice when I'm talking to friends, or I'm talking formally at a meeting, or even at a hypnosis training. When I want to use my hypnotic voice, or it does require that I use my hypnotic voice, it's usually when I want to hypnotize somebody, or I want to use conversational hypnosis to influence or persuade somebody, or I'm doing it formally or in front of a large group of people, maybe in a seminar that I'm teaching, to help show the reaction, but also show you the value of the voice itself. So the voice you're hearing right now is my everyday hypnotic voice. Now, if I want to switch to my hypnotic voice, it's very, very simple. The first thing I need to do is realize what is it going to do? Well, think of it like this. You have the conscious and the unconscious mind. The conscious mind is this critical mind that says, you can't hypnotize me or this won't work for me or I'm caught in this style of reality. I can't give up smoking or I don't want to buy this product. You've all heard of these before. So what I want to do subtly with my voice, because it's really secretive, the clients aren't really going to pick up on what I'm doing, is slow my tone down and slow my speed down. So try it yourself. Try and talk in a normal voice, which I'm doing right now, and then slow down your voice. Put some subtle pauses in it and take your time to simply present your idea. So there we have it. It's a very quick way to use your hypnotic voice to just slow things down. So that's the first step. As you'll notice, it's my normal talking voice. And simply by slowing the voice down, this does a couple of things. Essentially what it does is it gathers a client's attention. Unconsciously, they will pick up on what you're doing, which is what we want. And they think, wow, you know, this voice sounds a little bit different. I wonder what's occurring here. But consciously, it's not enough for them to pick up and go, hey, why did you change your voice? That sounds a little bit weird. So yes, it will take a little bit of practice to do. But the ultimate goal with this is if you start to slow down, you are going to sub-communicate your client to slow down as well. And this is important. Because if you start to slow down the conscious mind, which is that very fast mind inside your head that says you can't do this or can't do that, and it seems to circle around the same idea, once you start to slow that voice down, you tend to go into trance. Think of what happens when you go to sleep. When that voice and that critical mind starts to slow down, you fall asleep. So we're going to do the same thing. So first off, what I want you to do is think of something out loud you want to say. Maybe you want to talk about yourself or talk about a product or something you want to influence someone on. Talk normally and then slow your voice down. Let me give you an example of what I mean. So let me introduce you to this course as if I was introducing it into a normal way, then moving into conversational and covert trances. So welcome on board to the conversational hypnosis training. This training is all about covert trances. I'm going to show you exactly what it takes to hypnotize someone with your language and just your voice. So in days, you'll be speaking like a true covert hypnotist. Now, that's the same introduction I gave to you at the start. It was very upbeat. It's very normal. Now, notice the difference when I just simply slow things down, add little subtle pauses to what I'm talking about. Notice the reaction, how it feels different for you. So here, we give this a go. So welcome on board to the conversational hypnosis training in covert hypnosis. So you can learn and actualize the very style of trances that will allow you to simply and easily put someone into trance. Now, I don't know whether you've got a background in hypnosis or you've studied formally as a hypnotherapist. But I'm very excited you're here today because in fact, I'm going to show you the exact way to hypnotize someone in days of only learning this course and not years of formal study, 
Now that's something to be excited about. That you can use conversational and covert trances in everyday interactions where they really count. So people that you talk with, of course, can start to absorb the reality you're creating for them. And it's simple. And all you need to do is talk and slow down when presenting something important for your client to listen to. Now that's easy, isn't it? And there we have it. So it's the same message. Yes, it was a little bit longer because you get a bit carried away with that just because it does come so natural because I've had so much practice at it. Now what this does, it starts to slow things down and I'm gathering your attention. Now it may take a while to fit into every context, whether you're just meeting friends or family or you're meeting with clients formally, it doesn't matter. The act of the, the intention of slowing things down will subcommunicate to your client's conscious mind, hey, slow down. The more you slow it down, the less interactive it becomes. And the less interactive it becomes, imagine we get a direct path into the unconscious. Imagine this. Imagine the conscious mind is the gatekeeper to a big set of gates. And you come along and you try and get into the unconscious mind, which is behind the gates. And that gatekeeper says, no, 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 no. You're not allowed in here. So you walk away. And this time when you go up and talk to the gatekeeper, you talk a little bit slower. You start to pause and you tell the gatekeeper exactly what you need for him to do to get direct influence into the unconscious mind. Now, if you imagine that little metaphor, but also consider this, your hypnotic voice almost has a rhythm to it. So if you imagine a baby rocking back and forward that goes to sleep, we wanna do the same thing with our language. Now, if you've looked at your hypnotic voice before, you might have read or come across the idea that it needs to be monotone, but it really doesn't. Monotone becomes boring. You can put a lot of emphasis in words. You can even talk about exciting things in your hypnotic voice. They still have the same impact as a formal trance, but it doesn't mean you've got to talk about bland, monotonous things that would bore someone into hypnosis rather than gathering their attention. And it's almost like if you've ever said to somebody something really important, and you've said to them, hey, just listen to me for a second. I've got something really important I need to tell you. It's the same thing. You'll actually find that you'll slow your tone down. You'll probably look at them really meaningfully, which we're going to look at next and how we use that alongside our hypnotic voice. And you present your idea. And it's this idea that they really pay attention to. So it's the same thing here. So that's the first thing we're going to look at is this hypnotic voice. Now, when do we use it and how exactly we're going to use this in the context of hypnosis? That's not for now. That's the last technique because the technique I want to give you at the end is how to use memories, how to use this revivification and using your hypnotic voice is a big part of it. So I want to show you that now, then show it then how we put it all together. So there we have it. How do we practice this? That's probably a question you might be asking yourself. The easiest way to practice this is find yourself a book Find a small paragraph that you can read and do this out loud because it has more of an effect when you can hear your own voice and you can hear the subtle shifts that you have in your tonality. You're slowing down and also you're pausing. Read the passage out loud in a normal everyday interaction and your normal everyday voice and then slow it down. See the difference. Notice how it sounds to you. Notice if you start to become more absorbed or your mind actually drifts off while you're reading. You've had this before. If you've ever read an interesting novel before, you'll start to read it, you'll drift off, you'll come back, you'll read the same line again or the same paragraph, you'll drift off, you'll come back, and you're reading that same paragraph over and over. Why? Because it comes hypnotic. And when hypnosis is occurring, your mind tends to drift off and come back. That's exactly what we want to happen. So read that paragraph out loud, read it in your normal everyday voice, and then add some subtle pauses to it. Where do you pause, how many? It's trial and error, you just give it a go. Pause for a long time, pause for a short time, see what's comfortable for you, and slow things down. If you want your client's conscious mind to slow down, you need to slow down yourself first. So do it sub on a sub-communicative level, on an unconscious level, instead of saying to someone, hey, I need to slow down before we go into hypnosis, do it with your voice, and you'll notice that they follow along with you. So that's your hypnotic voice. Very, very simple. Give that a go. Practice this before you move on to the next video because next we're going to look at the eyesight side of things. How can we use our eyes to draw attention? And how can we use that in the equation of the revivification, which we're going to look at at the end? Very, very simple. We'll see you in the next try.